Hello, uh, YouTube. Um, this is my second video today, and I've been posting a lot of videos lately, and maybe I probably shouldn't be, uh, posting so many. Um, but I was thinking about something, um, I made that video, uh, about feminism in response to, uh, Stronger Now, 1, 2, 3, and she, um, she posted a, a, a comment on it that, that just got me to thinking. Um, this isn't actually a response to that comment, but it got me to thinking about it. Um, and it, it, the sentiment behind the comment was something like, um, their, you know, well, feminism has gotten a bad rap. Um, and, um, that, that's, that's a bad thing, I guess. So I wanted to, uh, to talk about, about that. Um, there's, there's something fascinating in that to me. Um, part of the reason, um, I have, I have a number of reasons, obviously, for, for choosing the labels to describe myself that, uh, that I use, um, and, and two of which are, are, um, two of which are very close to my heart are, are anarchism and atheism, right? And, um, there are a couple of reasons why I like those two labels. Um, uh, first of all, they're, they're both apophatic, right? They're both, uh, saying what I'm not. And, um, and I know that there's that whole, uh, sort of non-stamp collector argument about, um, you know, what, we don't label things by what we're not, but I, we don't label ourselves by what we're not. But I think that in, in some way that's the only way that we should label ourselves. Um, uh, I don't, I don't want to... Uh, my my internal reality and and experience is a very complex thing, um, and I I don't necessarily want to advance a, any kind of concrete um, uh, um, definition of of myself. This 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 strikes me as as uh, I've, I've it talked about in, in a previous year I put up the other day. This strikes me as being kind of vulgar um, uh, to 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 take the sort of manifold of, of thoughts and, and complexities of my mind and, and reduce them to to a label that I can then communicate to somebody. So there's something nice for me to describe myself. Uh, in in apophatic terms as much as I can, and I think that th there are a lot of times where I'll say something and then I'll say I'll, I'll like articulate Kant's position and I'll say I'm I'm not a Kantian by the way, or I'll say something and I'll be like I'm not that right, and I I I prefer to describe myself in in this sort of negative way that that's first of all, um, I think that that's that's a little bit more. Um, reverent, or it's a little bit more, it, it takes into account the reality of my subjectivity much better than, than the positive one, right? So that's, first of all, uh, apophatic labeling. I think that that's, that's a good thing. Um, and the other one is, is, there's another side to, to, to the choices of labels that, that I use, um, and this might come off as, as perhaps a bit cynical, but in describing myself as, as an atheist or an anarchist or as somebody who has uh, a solidarity with, um, with, with feminism or, or say, saying something like that, what one thing that I'm doing is um, creating 
a certain nexus of, of language um, around myself um, for, for sort of an instrumental purpose. And that is that if, if there were ever a situation where, uh, let's say, Rush Limbaugh or, or Glenn Beck or something had to talk about me, um, it would taste like ash in their mouth, right? Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm happy with that, you know, I'm happy knowing that, that, um, these, these people that I find, or I'm happy labeling myself, there's something that I enjoy about labeling myself and describing myself in such a way that, um, that is, um, that sort of disgusts people that, that I, I find repugnant. Um, so that's, that, that's another dimension of, of why, why I, uh, embrace, or that's, that's something that's attractive to me about, about cert, certain labels that I use. Um, that doesn't mean that I, I, you know, my, my adoption of these labels aren't, isn't totally cynical, you know, it's not totally for this purpose, but, but it's something that I like, um, about the way that I've chosen to describe myself. Um, but this is the point vis-a-vis -vis the, the comment that I received. Um, feminism has gotten a bad rap, and I made a comment response saying, saying, yeah, like, feminism gets a bad rap because it's a challenge to, to power, and it's, it's a challenge to the sort of hegemonic ideology, um, and I've made the, the Marxian point before that the, the, the dominant, or the ruling ideology is the ideology of the ruling class, is, is, is one of Marx's sort of great lines. Um, and feminism doesn't fit into that ideology. It, it, it challenges that ideology, I think. Um, and this is why I think people, people who aren't feminists, like, don't understand what, what is meant by patriarchy, right? people who don't uh, identify with, with the sort of dominant ideological structure um, sort of apprehend it very, very directly. This is true about class structures, too. There are, there are people who deny the existence of class structures, but, like, if you have a boss, you know, you know what class structures are, right? Like, you take orders from somebody above and you hand them down below. And uh, and all of this. So it seems to me to be just a very immediate reality, and I'm baffled that people um, uh, deny uh, the existence of of, of class. It's, it just, especially in America, with with such great uh, with such a great income gap and such low social mobility, regardless of what our you know ideological formation about ourselves is. Um, so. Uh, that was, that was a tangent. Um, the point about feminism is, is a, is a dirty word, or, or, you know, I, I think I want it to be a dirty word. The same goes for, for atheism, right? I, I don't want, um, atheism to, uh, to become a, a word that, doesn't cause trouble in the public square. Um, uh, I don't. I don't want Fox News to talk about atheism with anything less than than disgust. You know, I don't have this vision in my head of of a time where uh, we can use this word and. Um, you know, everybody's okay then, you know, or everybody's okay with it. In some way, I, I, I want to, to know that Sean Hannity, um, uh, can't vocalize that word without wincing, right? Maybe that's a vicious side of myself, but, but uh, I think that's true. And I think that's true about feminism, too. Like, 
if feminism were totally legitimized, right? If it was if it was something like um, uh, I don't know, I'm a I like hot dogs or something, right? Um, uh, if it was something really neutral like that, then then I feel like it wouldn't become really meaningless or it would become really really boring. It would lose its it would lose um, its its antagonistic feature. And there's this great video that that floated around the internet uh, a couple weeks ago where where Cornell West is talking about um, uh, Obama using the Martin Luther King Bible. And he makes kind of more or less this point that, like, that upset me because uh, because you're using a tradition that is all about challenging power, and you're sanitizing it and making it a part of a political calculation. Um, you're 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 using this this tradition which would be against you <laughs> um, in such a way that it it makes you look good, and that's that's kind of gross. Um, and and Cornel West takes it much more personally than I do. I'll put the link to that video in the description box. It's, I think it's a really compelling. Cornel West is always a great speaker. Um, so, but that's that's the thing. I don't I don't want you know if feminism has a has a bad rap. I think that that's a good thing. Um, I don't think it's an unquestioned good that. Um, that feminism, you know, sh should be uh, something totally acceptable in the mainstream of society. It's it. The whole point is that it's challenging the mainstream of society. It shouldn't be acceptable, right? It should be. It should be a four-letter word, right? And I think that's true about atheism, and I think that that's true about about anarchism, right? I don't. I don't want that to be a word that I describe myself with, and not get a reaction out of somebody. Um, that would defeat the purpose of, of those words for me. Um, or I, I feel like, I don't want to say it would defeat the purpose, because I do identify that way authentically, but it, it I, I feel like it would really lose something. There would be really something really sad. There would be a, a, a glimmer of, of romance that that's driven out of of the language that that would um that would I don't, it would just be really really sad it's an aesthetic thing but but um but yeah so that's that's my sort of thought on 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 those are some thoughts on on how and why i, I label myself in in the ways that i do um and i just want to point to there's more to that than um, merely describing myself, right? So I guess that this is kind of another sequel to um, agnost agnostic atheism is is stupid. Um, so yeah, <laughs> have a good day and uh, tell me all the reasons I'm wrong.